Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this fifth video of this chapter, Issue of Debentures, we are going to discuss how debentures can be issued for consideration other than cash. And we have two different scenarios over here, so two practical examples we are going to solve in this video. But now before going ahead with this video, please make sure you have watched the previous four videos of this chapter. The first video where we have discussed the entire concept. In the second video, we have solved six problems on issue of debentures for cash. And then in the third video, we have discussed about, you know, oversubscription. There also we have solved three problems. Yes. So nine problems have been solved. And then we have discussed about collateral security when debentures are issued as collateral security in the fourth video. Now, this is the fifth video where we have to discuss issue of debentures for consideration other than cash, right? This was the chapter breakdown. So we have completed this collateral security is also done. Now we are here for consideration other than cash, right? In the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to solve problems of these two from the CA foundation study material. Is that clear? Okay, and then we'll see these two topics. Okay, all right. So let's get back to this video and let's understand what is this issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. Now, see here we have the concept of issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. It's really simple and straightforward. We all know debenture is a long term debt instrument. It's like a loan. Company issues the debentures directly to the public and you know, raises finance directly from the public. Yeah, company receives money. And then later after five, six, seven years on the maturity, that money is paid back. Yeah, that's the concept of debenture. Now here what's happening here, debentures are being issued, but for consideration other than cash in exchange of debentures, company is not getting money, company is getting something else. Now, what is that something else? See, two scenarios we have. First is we are getting an asset, company is getting an asset, let's just say machinery. And then here a business is being purchased. When you purchase a business, when you acquire another companies, you have to pay purchase consideration, okay, a payment. Now that payment can happen in form of debentures. So debentures will have to be issued. But we are getting business, we are not getting cash. Is that clear? So that's what issue of debenture for consideration other than cash in this scenario. Is that clear? Okay, we'll discuss more about this later. First, let's just focus over here. When an asset is purchased, tell me the normal journal entry if asset is purchased. You will see it's really simple. We all know, let's just say machinery is purchased, machinery account debit to cash. Yeah, we have paid money and we have purchased the asset. Let's just say we have purchased on credit from, you know, Mohit, okay, Mohit, a seller. So you will say, oh, that's also very simple credit entry, uh, machinery account debit to Mohit. Mohit is our payable, yeah, creditor, isn't it? Yes, that's how we do it. Now here also the similar entry will pass first of what? Of asset purchase, asset account debit, then to vendor account, fine. Vendor account means seller account. Is that clear? Like a credit entry, you will pass this. Is it clear? And this amount will be fixed. It will not change no matter what the question is saying. We have issued at discount, at par, at premium. Yeah, the question will say something like that. Okay, so you will not get confused. Always remember the amount at which you agreed, yeah, at which you, you know, purchase the asset, that will remain the same. It will be fixed in all the calculation. Is it clear? All right, understood. That amount will be fixed. It will not change. All right. Now, debentures have to be issued, right? Here, what's happening? You have debited the asset. Asset is increasing. You debited that. And vendor account is a liability account. See here, liability is increasing. You have credited the vendor account. Fine. Now, what will happen? Now you have to issue the debentures. But you have to first understand how many debentures needs to be issued. Okay. So whatever price has been decided over here, that you will take over here, amount payable. And then whatever the issue price is decided, that you will take in the denominator. Amount payable divided by issue price. Let's just say the price of the debenture, issue price of the debenture is 100 equal to face value. Then you will take 100 over here. If it is equal to, you know, 120, let's just say 20 is premium, then you will take 120 over here. Let's just say it is a discount, 90, then 90 you will take over here. Okay, issue price includes the discount, right, as well as the premium. Both the things are considered. That's the issue price. You all know now the price at which debentures are issued. 
you will not take the face value you will take the issue price so you will get what's the number of debentures that will be given to the mohit okay or whoever the vendor is is it clear yes understood so always we have to do this calculation fine then the entry that you will pass if the debentures are issued at par vendor account debit here you credited the vendor account right here you increase the liability we have to pay 20 lakhs to the vendor for example now you are giving the debentures to the vendor so liability is finished vendor account debit okay that liability is finished to percentage debentures debentures are issued is it clear this is how it will happen and only face value will go over here similarly you have what at premium at discount also right if it is at premium then what you will do yeah if the debentures are issued at premium let's just say between you and the vendor yeah the company and the vendor they decided the debentures will be issued at premium let's just say 120 issue price then what you will do it's really simple you will take the amount payable yeah and you will divide it by the issue price that's 120 so you will get different number of debentures understand that for each type you have to do this calculation number of debentures fine mostly in the questions what will happen is you know they will give this question asset is purchased fine this entry will remain the same in all the cases they will say at par at premium at discount pass all the entries then you have to understand in each of the cases the number of debentures will change why because understand amount payable is fixed but the issue price is not fixed issue price will change yeah if par means 100 if premium means let's just say for example 120 at discount means it will be 90 or something yeah so it will change right number of debentures will change so that is why you have to be very careful is it clear okay so see the entry will be the same sort of entry vendor account debit yeah here liability was created now here you are debiting and finishing off the liability to vendor because you are giving him debentures to you know whatever the percentage debentures are there percentage debentures account only face value will go really simple whatever number of debentures you have got over here you will use those and multiply with the face value into 100 okay that amount will go to percentage debenture account and then the extra amount yeah 20 rupees is extra per debenture so whatever number of debentures you have got from this formula you will multiply with securities premium is it clear that's how you will take it and here directly you can take amount payable divided by issue price yeah 100 you divided whatever the number of debentures you got into the face value 100 you will get it fine easy but here you have to bifurcate properly 100 in the percentage debentures and 20 rupees extra in securities premium now let's just say debentures were issued at discount to the vendor then also the same sort of entry you have seen this entry already isn't it yes i mean discount is getting debited this is getting credited the entry is same only here just vendor account is coming so vendor account is getting debited and discount discount is a loss yeah so that loss you have to debit discount on issue of debenture account debit yes two percentage debenture now if it is issuing a discount what you have to do first you have to calculate number of debentures amount payable is same only 20 lakhs only okay that won't change amount payable will be same okay this 20 lakh in the first entry which is there right that you will take 20 lakh divide by 90 let's just say for example issue price so again you will get new number of debentures right so that new number of debentures you will take over here yeah let's just say we're talking about discount and then you will multiply with the discount how much discount you have given 10 rupee discount you have given isn't it 100 is the face value if the issue price is 90 then 10 rupees is the discount right so 10 into whatever the number of debentures you have got is that clear that's how you will calculate how much discount you have to record and in percentage debenture face value has to go face value means what you have issued at 90 can you take 90 no you can't take 90 how can you take 90 that's issue price you have to take 100 the face value 100 into number of debentures is that clear this is how you will pass these entries fine so in practical life only one of this will happen but in the exam all the three they will give you yeah a pass this b pass premium also c pass discount also okay this entry will remain the same this won't change okay but here in each of the cases number of debentures will change and how the split will be that will also change is that clear okay now let's just solve one problem on this and then you'll be perfect when an asset is purchased right by issuing debentures let's go to the problem now see here we have a practical example when debentures are being issued for consideration other than cash 
and we have purchased an asset okay it's really simple let's just read the question abc limited purchased machinery of 9 lakh okay from ar engineering company and the payment is to be made by issuing 10% debentures of 10 each you see the question has just told us the face value and the percentage of debentures right yes and then you see here it will be given like this at par at premium at discount yeah premium is of 50% and discount of 10% immediately now just tell me what's the issue price in all the three cases you will see it's really simple at par means equal to face value issue price is 10 in the B issue price is premium of 50% they are saying 50% on face value 10 is 5 rupee isn't it yes so issue price will be 10 plus 5 rupee 15 in total yes and discount of 10% means how much discount 10% of 10 rupees that's equal to 1 rupee discount yeah 9 rupee will be the issue price is there any confusion in this really simple basic things all right okay so what's the first entry we pass you all know first entry we pass is of what purchase of an asset yeah so debit the asset account yeah machinery account debit by how much by 9 lakh what we are going to credit we have to credit ar engineering but let's just say vendor account okay two vendor account 9 lakh is it clear this entry will pass now this entry is same in all the cases in exam in all the cases same entry you are going to pass is that clear and this 9 lakh is fixed this is the amount payable this will never change this is fixed clear okay then if it is issued at par yeah you and ar engineering decided that debentures will be issued at par at face value only all right so how how you're going to do the calculation i've told you always always calculate number of debentures first yes number of debentures what's the formula for number of debentures amount payable divided by issue price what's the issue price issue price is 10 equal to face value so let's just calculate number of debentures is 9 lakh divided by 10 that's equal to 90,000 debentures easy so 90,000 debentures will be given to AR engineering debentures of whom debentures of ABC limited now the journal entry how you will pass the journal entry really simple vendor account is getting credited now so you'll have to debit and finish that liability see vendor account to 10% debentures okay vendor account debit to 10% debentures 9 lakh 9 lakh easy so how did we get this 9 lakh you have to take the debentures okay 90,000 debentures and multiply with 10 the face value only face value will go in percentage debentures account 9 lakh 9 lakh okay so you understood how it will happen when the issue is at par now let's understand when issue is at premium see here issue is at premium means 5 rupee premium yeah 5 rupee extra so 5 rupee premium plus face value 10 issue price is 15 rupees so what are you going to do now first always you have to calculate number of debentures in this case how many debentures are being issued i told you it will change yeah because issue price has changed see here number of debentures is equal to 9 lakh divided by 15 if you do that that's equal to how much see here 9 lakh divided by 15 that's equal to 60,000 debentures you are issuing you see this because of premium what happened less debentures have been issued okay so it has changed now now you'll pass the entry entry is really simple you know vendor account debit to 10 percent debentures to securities premium the calculation is important right to vendor you know you will debit by 9 lakh only because here you have credited by 9 lakh so to finish that off you have to debit vendor by 9 lakh okay that's simple that's common sense but now how much will go to 10 percent debenture and how much will go to securities premium that is based on your calculation face value will only go in percentage debentures and in securities premium five rupees will go but you have to know properly how many debentures otherwise your calculation will be wrong see here 60,000 debentures so 60,000 into face value that's equal to 6 lakh will go to 10 percent debentures account and then in securities premium account 60,000 into 5 that's equal to 3 lakh is it clear easy so this is when issue is at premium now if issue is at discount what will happen if issue is at discount then see issue is at 10 percent discount 10 percent means i've told you one rupee right 10 percent of 10 that's one rupee so issue price will be nine rupees isn't it 10 minus 1 that's 9 rupees fine understood now 
what are you going to do directly can you pass the entry no you can't pass the entry you have to do the calculation of number of debentures 9 lakh amount payable i told you now 9 lakh will be fixed only isn't it i told you in the beginning only it will be fixed yeah at how much you have purchased the asset 9 lakh 9 lakh is fixed amount payable is fixed the only thing that will be changing is the issue price so issue price is 9 over here because one rupee discount you have given so 9 ones are 9 so that's 1 lakh debentures is it clear understood then you have to pass the entry yeah when dar account debit here you credit it so you have to debit and finish off that liability and then you have to debit the discount you have issued on debenture how many debentures have been issued 1 lakh debentures on each debenture you have given 1 rupee discount so 1 lakh into 1 rupee that's equal to 1 lakh discount in total okay and then the credit will be 10 percent debentures yes 1 lakh debentures have been issued face value is rupees 10 yeah so 10 lakh will be the amount that will go in 10 percent debentures account the entire face value is it clear so you understood this properly always face value will go in percentage debentures account fine simple and straightforward okay now let's get back to the second scenario let's understand how we are going to treat when a business is purchased right now see here we have the second scenario when a business is purchased and we are issuing debentures in purchase consideration okay let's understand what is happening we have issued debentures we are not getting cash no we have issued debentures we are getting whole running business in return okay now you have to understand what does this running business include this whole package which we are getting in exchange of debentures what does this include let me tell you when a company acquires another company what we get is we get all of its assets and all of its liabilities normally okay so if we are getting all the assets then tell me what are we going to do we are going to debit all the assets and if you are getting all the liabilities then liabilities have credit balance so we'll have to credit all the liabilities isn't it yes simple and then of course we have to pay something and as i said we are paying in form of debentures yeah in purchase consideration we are giving debentures right so we'll have to do the accounting of debentures but before that first we have to record a liability that to the old owner we have to pay something so we'll credit the vendor account we will credit the vendor account isn't it here also we credited the vendor account isn't it and then we gave the debentures but first we recognize we have to pay this much to the vendor so similarly we'll have to recognize a liability to vendor account one debit i told you assets will be debited all liabilities will be credited and vendor account will be credited is that clear okay then what happens is then there is a concept of goodwill or capital reserve which you have to understand so let's take an example let's just say your father purchased a shop in a very good prime location okay for 30 lakhs is that clear now let me tell you that in that shop there was furniture inventory okay so many different types of assets were there decor was there yeah so in total the value of the assets which were there in the shop were let's just say 10 lakhs right so you debited 10 lakhs amount of assets fine and then let's just say what liabilities also now if you purchase small businesses there will be no liabilities in companies there will be liabilities but let's just say in your father's shop there were liabilities of 3 lakh which your father purchased along with that so 10 lakh assets he purchased worth of assets and 3 lakh worth of liabilities so assets are something which we own or control liabilities are something which we have to pay in future these two things are opposite to each other so we can cancel them isn't it and you can find out what's the true you know worth of the business isn't it assets minus liabilities 10 lakh we own minus 3 lakh we have to pay so what's the net worth what's the net assets net assets are 7 lakh isn't it yeah that's what net assets are what's the true worth of your business net assets is equal to assets minus liabilities right that's what we did and we found out your father purchased a business and the worth the net assets of those business are of 7 lakh how much did your father pay your father paid 30 lakhs why did he pay 30 lakhs you have to understand this he paid 30 lakhs understand not just because of net assets this is mostly worthless to him the main thing is the location of that shop the brand of that shop the name the reputation 
right and you know it has a good track record that shop so if your father purchases that business what will happen your father will be able to earn profits what that business has been earning for the past years yeah isn't it if your father opens the same kind of shop in different location with a new name he will not be able to earn the same profit isn't it so that's why he paid something extra something premium he paid 30 lakhs right net assets were worth how much only 7 lakhs purchase consideration the payment your father made to the old owner was 30 lakhs so 23 lakh difference you will say 23 lakh loss no it's not a loss it's called as goodwill it seems like a loss but actually it's goodwill because of this your father will be able to earn premium profits super profits is that clear yeah there is a brand value reputation of that business fine so that's what he did he purchased goodwill also okay all right and then let's just say your father purchased the same shop and all but in a different location with a bad name and all okay if your father did that then let's just say the purchase consideration was only 5 lakhs the net assets were same 7 lakh only 10 lakh asset 3 lakh liabilities you subtracted you found out 7 lakh net assets the purchase consideration which your father paid was only 5 lakh yeah 2 lakh less 2 lakh less than the net assets so that 2 lakh less which he paid that's called a gain a profit yeah and that will go to capital reserve is it clear that's the concept of goodwill and capital reserve fine okay now in the question if the question is silent regarding the purchase consideration you need purchase consideration in the entry you will take this amount in this calculation yeah you will take the purchase consideration amount so you need purchase consideration it's very important let's just say question is silent regarding purchase consideration then what you will do what you will do how will you do the calculation what you have to do is you have to take all the assets subtract liabilities find out the net assets and you have to assume pc purchase consideration is equal to net assets is that clear simple and straightforward understood now let's get back let's see the general entry now see the general entry it's really simple this is the general entry see all the assets you have debited all the liabilities you have credited is there any doubt in this no you have purchased the asset assets have debit balance you have to debit them liabilities have credit balance you have purchased the liabilities you have to increase the liabilities in your book so you have to credit them isn't it simple rule then like here how you accepted that you have to pay money to the vendor similarly here also you have to accept that to the old owner you have to pay the purchase consideration so to vendor the amount you will write yeah here you first increase the liability to vendor then you gave the debentures similarly here also first you will accept the liability that you have to pay this much yeah to the vendor how much 30 lakhs yeah in our example 30 lakhs we said right your father purchased the shop for so 30 lakhs you will have to credit over here and then what you have to do is you have to see debit will not be equal to credits yeah the assets and these two credits will not be equal there will be difference if there is a gap in the debit you have to take it as goodwill if there is a gap in the credit in the amounts then you have to take it as capital reserve okay goodwill is a loss right it's kind of a loss so you'll have to debit that it's an asset actually so you'll have to debit that okay goodwill will be capitalized this is called as purchased goodwill and credit will be capital reserve is that clear this is how you have to do it or what you can do you can just compare yeah isn't it net assets if it is more than pc then capital reserve if it is less than pc then goodwill fine you understood this right let's just say suppose for example assets you have purchased for 100 liability is 30 okay and here pc is 20 so then what has happened 100 30 20 so 50 50 is less in the credit so that will be capital reserve okay like that you have to take is it clear right so once you pass this entry of business purchase then what you have to do you have to issue debentures right so you have to calculate how many debentures the same this thing you have to do you have to calculate number of debentures see same steps to be followed next number of debentures calculation number of debentures same formula amount payable amount payable means how much will you pay pc purchase consideration yeah 30 lakhs you will take over here 30 lakhs yeah in our example divide by the issue price if it is a discount 90 if it is at face value 100 whatever the issue price is there in the question if it is at premium 150 120 whatever 
you will get number of debentures once you get number of debentures then you can easily pass these entries you have seen the same way you have to pass these entries is that clear yeah, payment of purchase consideration by issuing debentures can happen at par at premium at discount the same entries will be there the same logic everything is same issuing the debentures thing is exactly same okay vendor account you will be debiting and finishing off and you will be recording the liability that's the percentage debentures if it, there is a premium you will record premium if there is a discount you will record the discount as well like that is it clear simple and straightforward so you have understood the concept of the second scenario as well now let's just quickly solve a problem on this and then you'll be good to go okay now see here we have our practical example when a business is purchased and in purchase consideration we are issuing debentures all right so this is the most comprehensive question and it's an exam question of cbsc class 12 2020 see here Neeraj Limited took over business of Ajay Enterprises on 1st April 2020. All right. The details of the agreement regarding the assets and liabilities to be taken over are, see, here they have given us assets and liabilities, building, plant, machinery, stock, trade receivables, creditors, outstanding expenses. Yes. So the last two are the liabilities. Here they have given us the book value and the agreed value. We will completely ignore the book value. Why is that so? Because understand we are taking over the business of Ajay Enterprises. So whatever has been agreed between us, those values are important for us, not the book value. Is that clear? Okay, fine. So we will only consider this. This will be completely ignored, right? It was decided to pay for purchase consideration as rupees 7 lakh through check and balance by issue of 2 lakh 9% debentures, 2 lakh number of debentures is that clear they have already given us number of debentures of rupees 20 each the face value at a premium of 25 percent so 25 percent of 20 that would be equal to how much five rupees isn't it yes it's five rupees so five rupees plus 20 that's equal to 25 that's the issue price isn't it see here solution issue price is equal to 20 plus 5 25 is that clear okay now purchase consideration is little bit confusing they have said purchase consideration is paid in form of cash yeah in form of check actually yeah by way of bank and as well as debentures now debentures are important for us in the calculation right but in the entries we'll consider the whole picture now for the calculation purpose see here understand let's just break the pc properly <coughs> pc has been paid in form of check and in form of debentures isn't it yes 7 lakh through check and 2 lakh debentures of rupees 20 each at rupees 25 issue price so 2 lakh into 25 that's equal to 50 lakhs is that clear that's equal to 50 lakhs 50 lakhs plus 7 57 lakhs that would be the whole purchase consideration is it clear okay now in questions what can happen let me tell you yeah, in questions sometimes they don't tell you the exact number of debentures. They will not tell you that. They will just say the whole purchase consideration and they will say 7 lakh has been paid by way of cash. So you have to calculate number of debentures. In that case, what you need to do is you just need to deduct the cash payment, partial cash payment, and then calculate the number of debentures. Like here, see, I have just done the calculation over here just to show you number of debentures. 57 lakh minus 7 lakh you will do partial cash payment and then divide by issue price because that's the formula isn't it what's the formula to calculate number of debentures amount payable divide by issue price amount payable or pc also you can say but if pc is partially paid by cash then you have to remove the cash part only the debentures part you have to take of pc okay and then divide by issue price you will get the correct number of debentures to be issued and that's equal to 2 lakh debentures but it's already given in this question i just showed you this calculation for other questions is that clear okay so here now we can easily pass the entries first entry will pass of business purchase let me just show you see here we will debit all the assets isn't it see the format entry the format entry you have to debit all the assets credit all the liabilities let's just do that building plant and machinery stock trade receivables will take only agreed value 35 lakh 8 lakh 4 lakh 4 lakh see a building plant and machinery stock trade receivables is it clear simple then we'll credit the liabilities 
creditors outstanding expenses 3 lakh 1 lakh okay see here creditors outstanding expenses 3 lakh 1 lakh is that clear forget about the goodwill and all fine then what you will do see the format entry what you have to credit you have to credit the purchase consideration you have to accept how much you have to pay to the old owner of the business the vendor yeah how much you have to pay the pc you have to credit the whole pc now understand not just the debenture pc the whole pc you have to consider the whole pc means 7 lakh plus 50 57 lakh okay that's what you have to credit see here to ajay enterprises yeah you can also say to vendor but name is given in the question so you have to take the name to ajay enterprises account 57 lakh you are accepting that to ajay enterprises you have to pay 57 lakhs now how it will be paid will be considered in the next entry here you are just recording a liability is that clear okay understood now what you have to do now you have to see the gap you have to see the difference okay just add all of these up see here add up all of the assets 35 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4 that's equal to 51 51 lakh of assets yeah 51 lakh of debits and then see the credits 3 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 57 that's equal to 61 lakhs of credits right so there is a difference where is the gap the gap is there on the debits right isn't it here there is a shortage of how much 51 lakh 61 lakh there is a shortage of 10 lakh debit yeah 10 lakh gap is there in the debit so what you have to do you have to fill that up by the goodwill that's what i said so see goodwill account debit 10 lakh is it clear yeah if the gap would have been in the credit that would have been capital reserve isn't it yes and then i showed you you can also do the comparison by calculating net assets but the shortcut way is this just see the gap fill the gap if it's debit goodwill if it's credit capital reserve simple and then what you have to do you have to pay the pc now or you can say discharge the pc here it is credited now you will debit yeah ajay enterprises account yeah you will cancel the liability because now you have to discharge the pc you have to pay the pc how you will pay the question has said seven lakh by way of check so you will credit the bank account by seven lakh easy and then you will credit the debentures right you have to give the debentures but debentures how is it given that is very important now how is it given is it given at par at discount at premium that's very important because based on that only you have to pass the entry and one of these entry you will have to pass now in this question they are saying at premium of 25 percent so this entry you will have to pass if they say par then this entry if they say discount then this entry isn't it that's what you have to do so they have set premium right so to nine percent debentures account and to securities premium right how did i get this 40 lakh 10 lakh and all it's really simple make use of the number of debentures we know number of debentures are 2 lakh so 2 lakh into face value that will always go where that will always go in the percentage debentures account 2 lakh into 20 that's 40 lakhs is it clear and then in securities premium extra amount will go the quantity of the debenture 2 lakh into 5 the premium amount so that's equal to 10 lakh is that clear 57 and all together this also 57 simple and straightforward this is how you have to you know pass the entries is it clear if it would have been discount or premium what would have happened the number of debentures will also change but here it's premium so it's easy okay and direct, directly they gave you the number of debentures so you don't have to worry about the calculation also i just showed you this uh, number of debentures calculation for other questions so that you can be uh, careful yeah, whenever there is partial cash payment always you have to deduct that is it clear simple and straightforward i hope you have understood this yep so we have discussed the entire concept of issue of debentures for consideration other than cash here we saw all the entries properly with the example and here we have taken the most comprehensive question with partial cash payment as well as here there is some uh, you know confusion in purchase consideration so everything we have discussed over here so that's all for this video see you in the next video